In this video, I will share how to track course purchases from your website using Google Analytics tool. Using Google Analytics, you can track important events on your website like how many students have visited your website, how many students have signed up to your website, how many students have purchased your courses and so on. Hi, I am Vaishak from Learnist and in today's video, I will specifically show you how to track course purchases using Google Analytics. Before we dive in, do remember to hit the subscribe button so that you can get more videos on course creation and marketing tips. Now with that said, let's jump straight into this video. Now to track your course purchases, let's head over to your Google Analytics admin dashboard. Now if you haven't set up your Google Analytics dashboard yet, do check out this video first before you proceed further. Now a course purchase happens every time a student clicks on the buy button and proceeds to a thank you page. To measure this course purchase, we will need to create goals in Google Analytics and I will show you how. On your admin dashboard, click on admin. Now under views, click on the goals and click on new goal to start creating your goal. Here you can either choose from the template or from custom. So let's go ahead and click on custom and click continue and within the goal description you can give your goal name since we are going to track a course success let's give course success page so we'll be tracking course success when a student reaches a thank you page we will choose the destination url and then click continue now under goal details you need to enter your thank you page url the default option you have is to enter the thank you page exactly as it is. Now in case of your course website, your thank you page will look something like this. So in this case, you can just copy the first half of your URL, go to your admin dashboard and select the begins with option and paste the URL over here. You can even remove this first part and just keep the from the slash learn part onwards and now click on save. So once you have saved this code, you will be able to track your course purchases. Like this, you can create up to 20 goals in Google Analytics. Now with that said, let's see how to track Google Analytics goals from your admin dashboard. Now on your analytics dashboard, scroll down to the bottom. Here you will find the goals that you have created. So here as you can see, we have created a core sales success and it's also showing three completions. Now let's see. Now to see if this goal is working, let's sign into your academy as a student and purchase a course. Here I am in the academy and I will be purchasing the course as a student. I will click on the pay securely button. Now as a student I have reached the thank you page. Now you should be able to see the results in the Google Analytics page anywhere between 6 to 12 hours. Now to see a recent conversion that has happened on your home page, you can head over to the conversions tab and click on goals and click on overview so here you will be able to see any recent purchases that has happened so for example right now the time is 8 5 whereas this purchase was made at 7 9 am so you can see that the purchase has happened over here and the same is visible over here so this way google analytics has started to track your course purchases now for google analytics to update this change on the admin dashboard it will take around 6 to 12 hours so do check out your google analytics and you will be able to see the results over here so this was an easy way to track course purchases using google analytics i hope you found this video super helpful if you did do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section below and i will answer it for you so till we meet again in that other video. See you, take care and bye.